Now what we're going to do is I'm going to square up these ends because I've already joined them right there. I will have to get those mill marks off of there and sand it and all that. But right now I'm going to square the ends here. Because you never know um, if uh, there was something that was not quite square when I milled these up. <clears throat> After I do one of them, then I'll put it over there. These are the short ends. <clears throat> Got snow everywhere on this thing. Now this is a fairly straight grain. Uh, you can see just how straight it is. And the end grain really tells the story because these lines run this way. Uh, they're somewhat diagonal. Uh, that'll work. Uh, let's check this one here. Same thing. Somewhat diagonal. And that's okay, as long as they uh, stay straight. I could cut them to length, but I'm not going to at this stage. <clears throat> so at this stage, I'm not going to cut them to length right now. Alright, I've got them all squared. <clears throat> Alright. Now there's going to be a little bit of cam camera movement here because I got to move this thing over. All right, now I want to sand them. And uh, I'm going to try to get all of them uniform. So I think I'll put them something like that. I want to have some sort of a clamp on them. I think I'll do it like this. Well, this is a speed clamp. The reason it's called a speed clamp is because you can use one hand to move it up like that. Uh, you want to unwind this part here. Not completely unwound but unwind it a little bit <clears throat> and 
then I want to have a couple of pieces that will be used so that the clamps do not mar the work. So I'm going to put it like this. Put my feed clamp on there. Clamp her down. Now notice that I have this board here and this one over here lower than this surface here because I'm going to sand this surface. Another thing you can do is turn it like this. Yeah, I guess I'll turn it like this. And then uh, put something over here to keep it from sliding back this way because I'm going to use a belt sander. <clears throat> Uh, this is a screw cl clamp right here and I'm going to get the jaws somewhat parallel but you can op open these uh, screw clamps, clamps up quite big this is how you this is how you wind them like this I want it fairly wide. <clears throat> Takes a while to figure out how <laughs> how to wind it and everything. And then, uh, close it up. Now this will keep the, uh, from uh, sliding back <clears throat> when I get my belt sander in there. All right, well, one thing you got to do is check to see what size you have on here, what grit <clears throat> that you have. I've got 80. That's good enough. And it's you can check your belt to make sure that you have a fairly good one. You can use one of these. Um, this will clean the belt. So I'll do that. Some people call these belt erasers. It's a rubber type substance. <clears throat> a polymer. I don't know if you ever heard of a polymer, but a polymer is a plastic. Well, this isn't going to work because uh, my belt is hitting this clamp here. I have to move it a little bit. <clears throat> Put a spacer in there. Um, 
your bag. You can check it. Uh, it's not empty, but it's okay. <clears throat> I don't believe that's going to be enough clearance. So I'll have to get another one. <sighs> Make sure you have enough clearance so you can sand it. All right, you probably have figured out why I clamped these together because I want them all to be a, a uniform shape. Plus, I want them all to be even across here and when I'm sanding I want to have support <clears throat> support the entire surface That should be good enough for that. So let's sand it to 80. I'm going to take this whole thing, slide it out, turn it over. Put all of them back, clear to the end of this, where this clamp is. Make sure they're all down. Should have done this before, but make sure the surface is clean. I already had an idea that it was. All right. Make sure they're clamped. Go to work. You want to make sure that the entire surface is covered. I got a little bit to do here on this end. All right, now I'm going to make sure that this is a. Uh, I've got these all clamped. I've got two spacers here between the this uh, pack of material here that I'm going to use for my door drawer. Uh, lid and then I've got two spacers and then I've got this clamp holding everything together. Okay now I've got my sander. Got a clean surface. I've got a stop set up here. Um, the way I do it is in my in my um, clamp, my vise, I've got two holes drilled and then I drilled two holes in a board and I made sure that this board was about half an inch or a five eighths, something like that. Made sure it was uh, thin enough. Then I'm going to put all my pieces up against this stop and start sanding.
to turn all these around then. Turn them all around. Do the same thing. Turn them over. Do the same thing. Now I'm going to change grits. Essentially, I'm changing grits. This one is a brand new belt. It's 80, 80 grit. And this one is a slightly wore out grit, uh, 80. This is also 80. It may come apart because it's kind of old. Alright, so now I'll use this 80 here. You want to run your sander, your belt sander, off the edge here because you want to make sure you get the ends too. And I'll turn these all around. Go again. Now even already you can tell that um, these look a lot better, that they're shinier than they were. Now I'll turn them all over, oops, turn them all over, whoop, <laughs> well now I lost my place, I have to do it all over again. Yes. 